Good morning guys, I've got to be a little bit quiet, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and um, I've been waiting for this little area to be cleared, um, the grass has been up to my head <laughs> for quite a while but I got the permission a while ago but I was just waiting for them to cut the grass down. Um, I've been here once before I found uh, a bit of a button, a uh, scout button I think, and a penny just in the grass. I came back with Gaz the other day but the one thing about this place is it's really really trashy and um, it wasn't up for digging trash that day so I've come back, it's early morning I'm going to slip a few hours in before work and uh, it's got that calling, you know when, when a place has got a calling that just calls you come and dig me I've got that feeling about this place so I know it's old ground and less of the waffling let's get on with the digging well, I've got a solid 45 here it's quite hard actually to commit yourself to live digging because I've already dug about six or seven ring pools and about eight or nine bits of can so you know if you were going to film every single one of them but this one sounds a bit different this one sounds pretty full on so it's not that deep either so let's see what it is let's see what we've got ah it's rudy just by a tree Put it out. I'll have a ride on it. I think it's a coin, to be honest. This is it is. What kind of coin, I'm not sure. Could be a Commonwealth. I'm gonna have to let it dry. And uh, yeah, I think I can definitely see that there's one penny there, so we'll let it dry. It's coming through there a bit. And uh we'll see what we can what we can make of it a bit later on, so but yeah I knew there was old stuff here. And uh, I haven't been going that long, probably about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that, so hopefully there's more of them around. Okay, so I've got another strong 45, 46. Uh, by the way, I'm using the Legend today uh, with the little 6-inch coil. Uh, just because it's so trashy, I can weave in and out of the, uh, of the iron and the tin cans and stuff and be a bit picky and choosy what I want to dig. But... Uh, Yep, it's just about here. I don't know how deep it is, but I think it's underneath this little grass. I bet it's not in the grass. Pinpoint to see if it's like it. Could be a bottle top. Could be a bit of cow, I can feel it already. And I think all it is, oh, I look. It's one of those tubes, the, the tops, the old tubes. They always give off good signals, don't they? Oh well, could have easily been another coin, so I'll cover that back up and we'll carry on. We've got a solid 47 on this one. Ring is nice and clear. No iron around it. In there somewhere. Let's just have a go at that. Let's see what we got. Beautiful digging in here. Oh, it's uh, we've had quite a lot of rain, so and it's a uh, nice sandy soil. Okay, we're out, we're out in the spoil. Oh, yeah. 
here we go. Beautiful. Turn of the half today. It's another penny by the look of it. And that one is a pretty worn rue penny. Crucified a bit. I checked the other penny, 1922. I had to quickly duck under a tree. We had a bit of a shower. So I gave it a bit of a rub in 1922. And that one looks like 19... Either 43 or 50... I can't make that out. I think it's 43. 1943, so... There he is, George Boy. George the Six. Not bad. Sneaking through the trash. We're picking them out. Oh, got a solid 43. Could be a nugget, but uh, in this kind of place, seeing though it's so old, it could also be something else. So, but it's ringing really well, and it's right about there. So, let's see what this one is. Let's fold it over. Um, right, right. I can see an edge, guys. It's another one. It's another pre decimal. Try and get you in a bit closer. If you can just see that there. Looks to me like it's a little half penny. And it's another. It's another Commonwealth. Sorry about the dim light, but I'm right underneath the tree. <laughs> yeah, nice. Can't see the age at the moment, but I will get it for you at the end at some point. So, not bad. Not bad. I knew the old stuff was here. It just had to be. It screamed out. It screamed out old, old, an old place. So. Let's carry on. We got another 33. Just under here. Just move that grass. Hopefully it's not in the grass. No, it's still there. I'm getting used to this pinpointer, by the way. Seems to be working a lot better. I, I think it might have been right. I think it might have been setting up on my ring. So I, uh, I lowered the sensitivity. And hold it right at the end like that now, point it, and it seems to be doing really well. So <laughs> it was probably my fault all along. But we seem to be out, and we seem to be in there somewhere. So what have we got? Oh wow, what the hell is that? Looks like a coin. Oh my god. What the heck? Well, I'm sure it's a coin. Judging by how green it is, it could be a, an old one, but... God, that's wasted, eh? I don't think I'll ever get whatever that is, to be honest. That is just... Toasted, completely wasted. I think I've never found a pretense almost as bad as that. <laughs> but in saying that, it still is a pre decimal, so can I count it? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I am. I'm going to count it. <laughs> It's another pre-decimal. On to the next. We've got another 45 here, but it seems pretty shallow. So it could be junk, to be honest. But I thought, because it sounded so good, that we'd give it a dig. And see what, see what it is. With these old places, sometimes you just never know, do you? 
It could be anything. I think I feel it and I think it's just can. Or some kind of. I don't even know what that is to be honest. I suppose it was I suppose it was something one day <laughs> once upon a time <laughs> but it's nothing to me so but it sounded blooming good anyway let's carry on tall draft junkie size well we got another banging 30 uh 43 just here again it's not so deep but um, well, I think I can feel a can or something. There's something down there. Let's see what it is. I mean, it's just slamming target. There's nothing in there. there. Might be two things. Or right on top of it there. Stick that out. Ah, oh, just see an edge here, guys. Here we go. Just see it. Oh, it's another crustified something or other. Oh, I don't even know. Ah, oh, back's even worse. These coins don't fair pretty well here. Perhaps it's all this grass and leaf litter and stuff that is causing the, them to erode like this but could be another commonwealth. I'll have to let it dry out and see what I can get off it. I can't make anything out on the back. Possibly just a root penny, but I don't know. Maybe you can see a bit better than me at the moment. So, anyway, I'll put it in the bag and uh, we'll see what it is after. We've got a 49 bouncing up to a 52 on this one, and it's just about here somewhere. I'm probably edging on a bit of rubbish to be honest, but it's got no ferret on it, so. Like I said before, in a place like this, you just never know. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like it now. Pinpoints is telling me that it's a bit oh, irony. And that's why. But I was giving off a good target, that was. Anything else in there? No? No, not the first part didn't show that up at all. Anyway, sometimes you just you gotta be a bit baffled, haven't you? <laughs> Let's carry on. We've got a tight little 42 here, but it's right on top. I'm not thinking nugget, not in a place like this. I'm probably thinking more along the lines of bottle top, but. Or even. Another piece of can. There is so much trash in this area. It's just unbelievable. But perseverance will get us there. I've always found a few pre decimals, so there's not saying that there's not more around here. So I've still got a couple of hours left before work, so let's plod on and see if we can't find someone else. Oh, we got another 43 here banging target as well and it's really tight really small so I'm edging my bet that it's not cancelor or can on this one this one sounds coinish to me very coinish do really well on the pre decimals today I think it's one of my best days ever to be honest still in the hole because so I'm still deep at 
I'm beginning to uh, really enjoy this pinpoint now. <laughs> All the trouble that I've had with it. Oops. Sorry about taking you out of shot then. Oh, pretty deep. It's pretty deep. Pull it out a bit. See if that's got it. Yeah, I think we're out. Yeah, I was right. It's another little half penny and ah oh, it's another little commonwealth that's not bad most green patina on that one all oh, that bit of dirt off oh, wow that's smooth that's been down there a long time it's coming up nice though beautiful yeah another pretty dead small I'm doing really well really well on the pre-decimals still got a while to go so we uh still got a chance to get in some more so i'm gonna start rushing a little bit now it's getting that time i've got to get to work and pack all my stuff up so uh, i've got about an hour left so let's wait, see what we can do in this last hour well, we got one here 43 to 45 it's a bit jumpy so it could be uh junk Pinpoint seems to like it and it doesn't seem to be that deep so hopefully it's not in that grass. Nah, it's under that grass so let's have a look what this is. It's not too far away from the last half penny that I just had. So could be a little spill. Oh no, something's big down there, right? Wow. Oh, wow, that's, that's... Oh. Oh, holy... Holy sugar. <laughs> a chunk of oil like that, ringing up really clearly. Oh, I'll have to do the settings. I'll go through the settings on this legend. I shouldn't be digging stuff like that. Not at all. Anyway, that's what it was. <laughs> On to the next. Well, I've just gone over that hole again, guys, and there's still something in there. And it's making me think that that iron wasn't the target I was looking for. Is that on? See, there's something else definitely in there. And there you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that, that iron. Was masking that little coin. But the legend told me it was in there. That's why I dug it. That's why I, re I went over it again. I thought, nah, it can't be that. It can't be that iron. Ringing up like that. In between. So... Yeah, a little rue penny, a, a rue half penny, that one. <sighs> so, yep, it always pays. Go back over your holes, guys. And uh, if you're confident that there was something decent in there, re-scan it because you just saw a perfect example there of a big piece of iron covering and masking the coin. But the legend saw the coin, but was a bit jumpy. So, anyway... But the moral of the story is always check your holes. And that's another nice pre-decimal for the bag. Let's go on. We've got a banging 47. It's pretty tight, but it's close to the surface again. I'm hoping it's another coin, but it could be, could be junk. Could be junk. Did I see something then? Yeah, I did. A big nut. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Nah, 
All this trash that's in here is just unreal. But I tell you, some of the legends done really, really well today. Picking through it, it's done, picked up so many pre-decimals through all this junk. I'm really happy with it, really happy with that machine. We got a steady 44 here. Oh, pimple and just, the ground, look at this, the ground is so hot that no matter where you put your pin pointers down, unless that, it just goes off. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, how difficult the conditions are, oh, what we got rocked. How difficult the conditions are here in this particular spot. But it's proved well, and it's proved my hunch right that, oh, did you see that? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh, you couldn't have got any better reveal than that, man. <laughs> Just pick it out like this. Look how green it is. Oh, it's another penny. Look at the greenness on that one. Oh, it's completely wasted on the back. But just look at that, that's another commonwealth. I might get a dice of it. I might do, but what a reveal. <laughs> That's the imprint look. You see? That's where it was sat right there. I just popped it up and there's the imprint. That's incredible. <laughs> oh God. That's gotta be the bit one of the best reveals I've ever done. Brilliant, okay. We're running short of time now, so let's get on with it. Well, this one blew my ears off. This one's a steady 56. And <laughs> I've dug a few of them, but I'm not gonna say it yet. But 56, that's got my heart really pumping. It's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. Right, let's make sure you can see properly. See what we got. I hope it's not bloody trash now. Probably is. Probably is not in my look. There we go. Was it deep? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Can you see that? Can you see that? There, there's only one thing that rings up as a 56, and that has to be a florin. And I think that's exactly what I've got, guys. I knew it, I knew it. With all those pre decimals that were around here, they had to be a silver. They had to be. It was just about a case of just persevering and just going through the junk getting rid of the junky tones and that my friends is absolutely beautiful it's just ah oh, there you go i try and give you a bit of a closer body i don't know the date i can't see the date absolutely brilliant the silver continues. My lucky streak with silver has just been amazing. And I know it's gonna run out soon. I know it's gonna run out soon, but every time now I've come out with something decent. I mean, I would have been happy with all them pre-decimals that I found out of this place. I knew I needed to come here. I knew it, it just screamed at me. Come and dig me and that's probably gonna be nearly the end of the hunt and to end on that is just perfect. I think I've got about half an hour to go and then I've got to start packing up. So, oh, what wonderful, what a wonderful finish if I don't find anything else. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm absolutely over the moon with that one. Well, this one blew my ears off. This one's a steady 56 and I've dug a few of them, 
but I'm not going to say it yet. But 56, that's got my heart really pumping. It's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. Right, let's make sure you can see properly. Let's see what we got. I hope it's not bloody trash, no. Probably is. Probably is not in my look. There you go. Was it deep? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes. Can you see that? Can you see that? There. There's only one thing that rings up as a 56, and that has to be a Florin. And I think that's exactly what I've got, guys. I knew it, I knew it. With all those pre-decimals that were around here, they had to be a silver. They had to be. It was just about a case of just persevering and just going through the junk, getting rid of the junky tones. And that, my friends, is absolutely beautiful. It's just, ah. Oh. There you go, i try and give you a bit of a close up on him. I don't know the date, I can't see the date. Absolutely brilliant. The silver continues. My lucky streak with silver has just been amazing. And I know it's gonna run out soon, I know it's gonna run out soon, but every time now i've come out with something decent i mean i would have been happy with all them pre-decimals that i found out of this place i knew i needed to come here i knew it it just screamed at me come and dig me and that's probably gonna be nearly the end of the hunt and to end on that is just perfect i think i've got about half an hour to go and then i've got to start packing up so Oh, what wonderful, what a wonderful finish if I don't find anything else. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm absolutely over the moon with that one. Right then, guys, I'm going to make this my last target. I got a steady 43 in there somewhere. Again, it is nugget range, but in an area like this, and seeing you know, I found so many uh, pre decimals. I'm edging my bets is probably another another one and it's just going to be a good way to finish hopefully unless it's a bottle top <laughs> I'll quickly throw that one in let's turn it off yeah it's down there somewhere we're down there somewhere oh more roots Still in there. Still in there. If I can get my hand in there. Ah, oh, there's roots everywhere. Sand. Well, I think we're out. Right. Oh, okay, we're over here somewhere. Yeah, I think I see it. Try and give it a bit of a rub. What have we got? Oh, Toasted as well. It is a little high, Penny. Nah. I'm not going to get anything off that, I don't think. But it's a Commonwealth. I can see the ring. But yeah, once again, look, it hasn't fared well in the ground. <laughs> well, there's all these trees and everything around here, like I was saying. Hasn't done the coins much good. Anyway, that's me done for the day. So we'll try and do a little quick wrap up before I go. And, uh, and we'll see what we got up.
Well, that's what we've done for the day. Well, the morning. We've done about three hours. I can't really tell you all the dates and everything. They, they didn't come out of the ground very well at all, to be truthful. But we got, let's just count them. One, two, three, four half pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six pennies. And we can probably get the date of that one. 1942 Florin. I made that a Georgia 6. And I think that's still 925 silver, that one. Yep. So, oh, that's just a little 20 cent coin that happened to be along the way. Not bad at all, eh? Not bad, I'm really happy with that. Especially in this little old area. I knew it, it says, come and dig me. <laughs> and I waited, I rode past it about 10 times on my bike while the grass was still up. And I kept thinking, oh, come on now, cut the grass, cut the grass. As soon as I saw the grass cut, me and Gaz jumped on it, but Gaz was a bit fed up straight away with the amount of trash that's here. And to be honest, it is really, really trashy. Um, I'm so happy with the legend that it snuck through. It probably missed a lot of stuff, like that half penny that was masked by that big piece of iron. But it saw through it, eh? It did. It, it saw through it and it told me that there was something better in there than that. I was shocked when that came out, that piece of iron. I knew there was something better in in that hole. So I double checked it and yeah, that little uh, half penny was uh, resting in underneath the bottom of that. So I'm so happy I went back over it and, and trusted the machine. Anyway, that's me done for the day. Um, I'm going to try and maybe get out again midweek, it's only Monday today, so uh, if not I'm on my own on Saturday, um, I'll see what I can get going there, but up until then, um, thanks for joining me once again and I'll see you next time I'm out and about.